right, uh, let's call to order the uh, January, tw January 4th, 2021 workshop meeting of Plymouth Township Council. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States, America, 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 Republic, the Republic, Republic stands, 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 we will have, I guess we have an executive session at the end, correct? Um, and we're first starting with a couple tax settlements, let's say. Is any explanation needed for this, Mike, or not really? Uh, no, no, I don't believe so. These are just pretty, pretty standard and straightforward tax settlements. Right, and Mike would take them next week, right? Yes. Nice and busy. All three. Any? I mean, it's odd that we have three in a row. Is that any any significance to that, or is that just coincidence? I'm not sure. Um, it's year end. <laughs> I, I think it's year end. I think it's a lot of people wanting to just get things resolved as, as the coming up to the end of the year. And I think it's you, you normally see a lot of these at the beginning of the year. Sounds good. Uh, all right. Um, Police and public safety. First item is the final consideration for the marijuana ordinance. Yes, that's been duly advertised. It's ready to go. And I guess you would assign that also to Mike. Okay. Generally reads those. We didn't change anything from that after last month, right? It's no. The same as it was. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions? All right. um, we have accommodation for Officer Watts and K-9 Major. Take that, John. Any explanation? Uh, actually, the accommodation was uh, for merit for Officer Watts. He's the one that is uh, retired. Well, actually already did retire his uh, dog. But with only two weeks left before this dog retired, uh, they still remain very active and uh, just as he was finishing roll call, he uh, went into the dispatch where we have cameras set up and he was, he knew that there were some issues of uh, burglaries um, on Conchock and Road. So he was looking at the cameras on Conchock and Road on his own and noticed he saw two suspicious people. It was dark out and they had knapsacks and they were by the Brad Fox Memorial, which had been vandalized. So he drove from there down there with his dog, found the people they were burglars. His dog chased one and caught him. And we wound up clearing, uh, I think, three burglaries from that. So it was good, aggressive, proactive police work. Great. Great. Wonderful. It's amazing. Now, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if you were talking about Officer Watts or the canine when you said looking at the cameras. And then I, and then I, I started to... <laughs> <laughs> Well, that'd have been some award if it was the cane. <laughs> <laughs> we started woofing up there. I, I'd like to know if Major gets like a pension, like unlimited treats or something. For I'm all sure we can, great work. We can work out some squeaky balls or something. I'm sure. We're actually getting to that, right, John? That, that's part of the, another question coming right well, up. Well, he gets to stay with Officer Watts. That's one great thing. Yeah, that's, that's so, commendable. Uh, so, uh, Chief, you'll take, will you, you'll do the commendation? Or Certainly, that... I'll read the, I would like to say a few words, but I, I can also yeah. read the commendation, yes. Well, is, well, I guess, Chief, if you say a few words, then one of us will read the, the commendation, I guess that's good. Okay. Does, anybody, um, does anybody want to take that one? I would. All right, Karen, it is. Okay, and then the retirement resolution for Major. I'd love to do that one. Uh, and the bill of sale for canine major. I could do that one. Dave, okay, so um, Officer Watts, you know, would like to keep major. Um, so that's the first part of that for the bill of sale. And then the second part is that um, all the four canines 
have been, they're, they're all part of a, um, like a little health insurance plan at the Matthew Ryan Veterinary Clinic. And it's paid through June of next year that we pay them annually for the four dogs, for their checkups and regular shots and things like that. So, you know, John and I were talking today, they were wondering since already it's paid for, whether or not it would be okay. Maybe we have to add a line in the bill of sale uh, for Mike's department, but just to say if he could continue to take the dog there for the routine shots or anything that's already been paid for, uh, even though we're otherwise selling the dog as, as an as is condition and without any future uh, warranty or you know, um, payment of his health care. So. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. He so earned it. Why not? He definitely earned it. Yeah. So Mike, do you think we should add one more like uh, sentence in the bill of sale? Yes, Just, I think so. It would make sense. Or, and John, you'll get the date through what we've paid through June of sometime in 2021. Actually, what I can do is tomorrow, Mike, I will uh, email you the contract so you can see the wording and the dates Thanks, and everything. Steve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so Dave, that'll change slightly. We'll have a new, probably another sentence or so in that, or two, you know, in the bill of sale, in your packet. Sure. Oh, and then also Chris Manair, can you just make a, a note? You'll need to come in someday uh, this week if possible to sign these things. They're, they've been put on like certificate paper and they will be put in a plaque form. And John will have um, Officer Watson major uh, next week in his office or his conference room for your presentation, so. Yeah, if one of this leaves them out, I'll, I'll stop in either in the morning or on my way home. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, a couple other things probably too. Of course. Yeah, there's always a few <laughs> things under that clip. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything else on police and public safety? No, I have nothing else. Thank you. Okay. Uh, public works and sewer, snow announcement. Anybody want to draw straws for that one? I'll take it this time. Yeah. and liquid fuels authorized expenditure resolution. Anything? I can do it. Anything no, specific? Mark. Yeah, no, that's just that every year in January, we have to um, adopt this resolution stating that we're gonna use the liquid fuels on the proper uses. Um, routinely done every January. Got it. Karen has that. Um, anything for engineering? I have nothing tonight, sir. All that effort to get on the Zoom and nothing to report. Uh, Anticlimactic. Um, all right. Uh, subdivisions. First one is proving grounds. Yeah, that's Dave's area. Yeah. For extensions for Dave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Book Road, Will Vend, is that Marty? I'll take that one too. Oh, it's Dave's yeah, district. Uh, proving grounds again. Uh, this, well, this is the grading permits, right? This is the one that. Yeah, that's what all about. They're both, both of those are requests for grading permits. Is that correct? No, once, once in it, the first one's an extension to continue to review their land development, but they're having trouble with aqua and having trouble. Uh, and that's a major issue getting water to their site. So that's why they have not been conditionally approved yet. However, they do have some um, tournaments planned for this summer that they wanted to get started. And there's, you know, mostly moving the dirt is what they have to do down there to create these fields. So they are asking if they can get started ahead of plan recordation um, and approve really in a, before the conditional approval of their plans. Uh, do you want um, Dave or anybody? Uh, BB also. It is your. It is yours. Mm -hmm. And there's no uh, Karen. I think I saw in your mail. There's there's no concerns about that. No issues with letting um, them start. That's um, my email. Really dealt with the next one on oh, your list. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> But no, no concerns really. It's it's out of order, but you know we understand. So got it. it, it yeah, all, and they have a they have an NPDES permit, so everything should be covered that way. Right, and so does the next one. The the Ridge Partners also 
has their NPDES permits. The only real reason why on both of these you would have, you know, we should agree to allow grading permit, you have you have to have that county conservation permit as well. And they do. Both of them do. Now I saw the email, but I don't have anything in my book. Will there be something included or? Um, for the Ridge Partners? Yes. Yeah, so actually um, we're probably gonna need, we're, um, I know Rob's on this call, but we're probably gonna need a resolution because they're also asking for, um, I guess to, uh, Mike, you, you're familiar how the MPC has a provision where if you don't have a PennDOT HOP, you can still record your plans with a note right. on that on record plan. It doesn't actually technically apply to a county road, but and Ridge Pike is a county road. But basically, um, through the letter that was emailed around this afternoon, today, whatever, that's what this 1103 Ridge Partners is asking for. They'd like to be able to record their plan and get their grading permit and get their improvement construction permit to start you know, working on that site um, in advance of the county HOP, as long as all the other conditions are met. But they wanna revise their conditional approval to exclude that one provision, which they're not gonna have in time. So, yeah. I have a question on that. Sure. Oh, real quick, it, Karen, did you say they need a construction permit as they part of that? They will need, yes, that's to put like your, you know, underground basins in your storm pipes, your uh, for that. ground water and sewer lines. I thought I meant the building construction because they have started that. They have started the building. Yes, that's not right. actually technically, it doesn't have to be part of land development for the MPC. So they've simply got because it was an existing building, Mr. Gang, that's all. Right. Yeah, well, enough said, that's fine. Yeah. So, but this project also has its um, N MPDES permit, which is important. <clears throat> they are still working. I, I think we didn't, we didn't get the final, final answer on those Pannoni Ridge Pike sewer plans that Pannoni's redoing the, the township's main in Ridge Pike. We have to make sure that these, um, that this project, you know, lines up with where they're planning to discharge their sewage to and, and that our pipe will be there because it's going to be, done now, but the line's going to get redone probably next year when Ridge Pike is rebuilt in front of this property. So that's still pending. Um, and there are some easements, I think, still pending um, that we need. So it's a few things, but, but the resolution also says they need that county HOP, which it doesn't look like they'll have um, as soon as they you know, would like and, and they could get the plan recorded. So there's still a few more conditions, but they'd like that one condition to be removed and put all the risk on them to build their whole project. They won't get a use and occupancy until they have that HOP and the driveways cut into Ridge Pike. Uh, you know, um, I, I, as long as they sign, ECON signs any agreement or resolution that they have that 100% of that risk, they can't come back on the township, you know, then I don't have an objection. And, and Karen, just to, to point out, I mean, we have, we are posting $8.6 million in financial security. I mean, we're not, we're not asking for any of that to be waived in any way, shape or form. And again, we, we accept all that risk. We believe that the county HOP uh, is relatively imminent, um, but 30 or 45 days um, before that's issued and then waiting to record the plan, all that time is precious um, at this point. Um, so that's why we're, we're making this request. So will something be generated that I can read or? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and actually, um, I, Mike, you would probably take it, right? It would be, yes. it would be a, it, Mike would usually take that. It would be a, a revised conditional approval of a land development. So, okay. Um, and Mike, do you have the, the first one or do you need it? Do you know if you have it? Oh, I can touch base with you tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think we do, but okay. I'll, I'll check. And if you, we can yeah. talk tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of Mike for that one. Yeah, does any, anybody else have any question or about that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, good. All right, um, anything for, anything else that's not listed on here, by the way? Uh, no, I don't have anything that's not listed. Okay, good. Um, 
Anything for code enforcement? Jim? I have nothing. Okay. Um, going down to zoning, I think there's just there's one. And is there also going to, is there another continuation then for pre? Yes, the pre is still continued. Mm -hmm. And they'll go, will they go first at six? No, the residential case will go first. Okay. Okay. Just in case, you know, they happen to go another night after this night. I'm not sure. Got it. Uh, anybody want to read the zoning? Yeah, I can do that. And I guess, again, we just have to do the same thing, reannounce <clears throat> and, and reannounce that we're opposing that. Is that necessary? Or no, no, you've already you've already authorized us to um, to oppose. So uh, so the hearing is commenced and this is just a continuation. It's not a, a new hearing or a new application. So uh, we'll just continue to do what we're doing. OK. Um, Parks and Rec, Service and Devotion Monument. I'll read that one. Right. Um, Karen Frank, anything else from Parks and Rec? No, I don't think so. We, um, I thought we did very well with the uh, lighting contest um, and we were happy to reopen today. So all in all, I think we're doing pretty well. Many people show up today. Uh, we had a decent crowd. I think by the time I left, we had over 100. Wow. So not not too shabby. Um, and that was with the pool not opening until noon. So tomorrow we'll hope to have more. When will full pool um, access be open? Um, the, the reservations will be up on Wednesday. And next week, we are starting all the classes for the aerobics classes and things. OK. So, and in most of the, um, a lot of the aerobics classes, the land aerobics classes will be open next week also. And we are then determining what we will do for some of the other classes um, a little bit later in the week, we decide when they will hit. We are hoping to put out a modified brochure a little bit later this week if possible. Good stuff. All right, anything else? Thank you, yep. Thank oh. you Karen. No problem. Thank you. Uh, miscellaneous old business citizen uh, board vacancy announcements. Have a handful here this time. Um, I can I can read those. I haven't assigned myself anything yet. And that's everything on there is right. Like two two property maintenance, one harb, one human relations, and one EAB. Yes. Um, anything else? That was too quick. That was too quick. <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll just add real quick, and I'm not to embarrass him. He can keep his camera off. But uh, Ryan Monahan, who's uh, at the meeting on the meeting now, is one of my students, and he's uh, just fulfilling an assignment to observe local government. And he has been in all this pandemic and all this craziness of this year. He has been absolutely one of my uh, most attentive and hardest working, outstanding students this year. And I, you know. He didn't ask for any kind of recognition for that, but he deserves it. He's probably been sitting in that chair all day long. Same spot I saw him like five hours ago. Um, so uh, he's uh, he's here hopefully learning a little bit tonight. Get full credit Did you, for you didn't look at the emergency service, uh, the, emer the environmental advisory board meeting tell you that I grilled her? <laughs> no, she did not actually. But, she did uh, not. <laughs> did very I'll, well. I I'll check into that. Questions for her why she chose it and what she thought about it and uh, if that issue was even on the radar of people in her uh, generation and boy, she handled it all beautifully. It's only the best, right, Ryan? Only the best. <laughs> right. Looks like he's sitting in a fine gaming chair also. He must be comfortable. I am, <laughs> yes. I, I, uh, I was... Oh. Sorry, speaker went on. Uh, I got it. I got it for uh, for Christmas. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. <laughs> and uh, and thank you for the kind words, Mr. Monero. I appreciate it. My pleasure. My pleasure. Um, all right. Anything else before we adjourn and go into executive session? All right. Uh, meeting adjourned.